Okay, class, let's move to the next page. And now we're going to write our letter. But first, let's take a look at how the letter is organized. All right, so we have three parts over here in blue. Vivian, can you read the name of the first one? Reading. Yes, and number two? Body. And the last one? Closing and signature. Closing and signature. Very good. So let's break these down. The first one, greeting, what does it say after? It says? Dear. And? Blank. Yeah, dear blank. So dear is almost like saying hello. And we're going to put here your friend's name. Okay, so I'm just going to write friend name. But after, I want you to put the name of your friend. So Vivian, you can put Jane here. Okay, what's the second part, Vivian? Body. Body, yes. Yeah. So this is where we put our four body paragraphs. So we had P1, P2, P3, and P4. These are from the last page, our map. So this is where you're going to put those four paragraphs. What's the last part, Vivian? Closing and signature. Yes, closing. Do you think that's the beginning? No. No, the ending and signature. What's a signature, Vivian? Your sign, yeah, very good. I want you to write your name cleanly first. We call that printing. And then I want you to sign your name over here. Okay, so make sure you have both of those. All right, so that's our organization for today's letter. Now, before we start writing, Vivian, what kind of letter are we going to write today? Thank you letter. A thank you letter, yeah, it's a thank you letter to our friends. So, I'm going to give you some useful tips to take your brainstormed ideas and make real sentences for a thank you letter. Okay, well, let's start with P1. This is where we talked about how our friend helped us and what they did for us. So, a good sentence to use in P1 is, you guys can write this at the top of your book and change it later. Let's write, thank you for helping me when, and I'm just going to put a blank here, this is where you can put your ideas from P1 on the last page, and use this sentence here in your first paragraph if you want. Okay, you're also going to have P2, P3, and P4. Some ideas for P4 are our last paragraph. Let's see, we want to kind of uh, summarize or end the whole letter, we might say, I am, let's write together, I am grateful. Grateful means like thankful. I feel good. I am grateful for your help. Okay, we can maybe use that in P4. So let's go ahead and we can just write P4 over here so we can remember where to put that. Uh, last idea is you could also make, I appreciate your help. Let's write that one. I appreciate your help. All right, so both of these can be used in P4 for our last paragraph. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you some time now. Using your brainstorm map, go ahead and write the four paragraphs here.